What's up, everyone? Mike Lines with the Luchek Group at Cobo Banker Realty here, bringing you my first multi-million dollar home tour. Today, we are in the illustrious and prestigious neighborhood of Flying Horse North here in Colorado Springs, touring this amazing model home by Alliance Builders, all right? This is one of my favorite builders in all of Colorado, so this one's gonna be a great one. This home has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and is over 7,700 square feet with a four car garage and sits on over three acres here in Colorado Springs and is worth about $3.3 million. Now I wanna give a special thanks to Kiani and Lindsay with Alliance Builders for allowing me to do this tour. Very much appreciate it. Now let's go inside and check it out. All right, here it is. So first thing I wanna mention, coming through this, coming through the front door, right? You got an eight foot, solid wood door, pivot, very heavy, has a very nice touch. All right, coming to the right side of the entryway, you have your coat closet, and you also get a little peekaboo right under the steps, which adds a nice touch as well. Now, let's go ahead and go into the great room. All right, coming into this great room, first thing you'll notice is the flooring, right? This is a white oak, hardwood flooring, real hardwood. And then one thing to really notice about, that you'll really notice about this space is how open it is, right? Very open concept. You come into the great room, you have 12 foot ceilings, you have these hollow wood beams up top. You got your uh, surround sound speakers, right? It's really a nice area for some family gatherings, things of that nature. Looking right out here, which is straight ahead. So imagine you coming right through the front door and just looking right here at this picture. You have these 15 foot sliders, three five foot panels, and they push all the way back and you have great expansive views of Pikes Peak. And you can also see right into your uh, covered deck, which we'll hit a little bit later. Another highlight about this great room is this big focal point here. So you have your, your sliders, which you can see right out to the mountains. And then you have your focal point here where you can put your TV, you can put some artwork, just like Alliance has done here. You have these hollow wood beams right here is your mantle, right? And it matches right above this floating design here with your LED lights underneath. And another thing to note, you have your gas fireplace, which is double-sided. You can see into it from the office, which we'll get to a little bit later. But they also added this real metal tile here, which is something that I haven't seen in any homes here in Colorado ever. Now, heading into the heart of the home, which is your kitchen, right? First thing you'll notice is this expansive island. It has a Cambria quartz countertops, and it also has a waterfall edge, which goes all the way to the floor. Also has this raised tier here for eating, right? At this island, you could probably sit five or six people here. They can eat, socialize, you know, watch whoever is cooking, right? Study them, do all those things. Got an at-home chef. Yeah, at-home chef, that would be nice. So coming over to this area, you'll see on this side, your countertops, they match this raised eating area over here. You'll also notice the appliances, very upgraded appliances. You have the six burner stove, you have two dishwashers, right? Not one, but two. All of your cabinets, the soft clothes, cabinets and drawers, and everything just kind of works together in this space, all right? Another thing to mention as we're going throughout this house is that notice all the lighting that they have throughout here, right? They use urban lighting out of Denver. They have a store in Colorado Springs now for anybody who's in the area. But all the light fixtures are different, they're modern. Gives it a nice touch, kind of you get, you get a little bit of um, a modern touch, right, with the mountain home, which is great here in Colorado. Love all the lights. Yeah, the lights are the lights are amazing. That's my thing. When I whenever I build my my custom, right, I'm going straight to urban lighting. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so coming right out here, off right off of your kitchen, you enter your butler's pantry. One thing that everybody has to note out is the Mele appliance right here. You have your coffee maker, right, for all you coffee drinkers out there. I'm not the biggest coffee drinker, right? I'm a tea guy, but. Everybody in my family, they like coffee, so that'd be a great touch. I All need right. some of that right now. Yeah, that would be nice. So here you still have your quartz countertops, same maple cabinets, right? Soft clothes, everything's nice. It leads right into your walk-in pantry. And then this area just loops all the way back around. And so you have your mudge room here, which walks out to your four car garage, epoxy flooring, oversized, right? Really adds a nice touch to the space. And it really just flows. You come in through the entry, you can go all the way through, or you can come right in through the garage, right into your kitchen, drop your stuff off. You know, it's really nice, really nice. Can't beat it. There's enough room to entertain guests in here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's another little living area. All right, so coming back out, right? We went over the great room, we hit the kitchen, 
And now let's come over to one of the staples of Alliance Builders is this uh, garden room, right? You can call it garden room, sunroom, and it's really multi-purpose. You can use it for many different things. So you can see the setup that they have right now. They have the dining table here with another custom lighting fixture here, right? They doubled it up. You have a seating area here. And I can just see myself here with all my friends enjoying the nice view, right? Talking crap about each other, you know, just doing what we do. All right, so right off of this garden room, you have a garden bar, right? Garden bar, wet bar, whatever you prefer, it's a garden room. So we'll go ahead and call it a garden bar. You'll notice that it has the quartz countertops, right? Same as in the kitchen. And a really nice feature that they did is that they followed the quartz all the way up top to make it a backsplash, okay? And another thing to note, you have your upper cabinets here, soft clothes as well, with some floating shelving here, under cabinet uh, LED lighting. Really a nice touch to this space. It's amazing. Yeah. So, am I missing anything? There's a lot of little details in here. Everywhere you look, there's more. Yeah, a lot of detail, a lot of detail. Really love this open concept in this main area. And now, let's go ahead and check out the deck. Now, here on the deck, there's so many things to note, right? First, very durable deck. This is a Trex decking, and you'll notice just how expansive it is. And there's many different entry points. You can get into it from the garden room, from the great room, from the office, from the master bedroom. Over to the right here, you have a built-in grill. This is a perfect area for grilling, perfect area for family, and just a lot of fun activities, right? And then, of course, the main thing that you'll notice is that very expansive view of Pikes Peak. Walking over to this space here, you have your fire pit, and then you come over here right off of your master bedroom, and you have this lounge here where you can just come out, read a book, enjoy the birds chirping, the nice weather, whatever it is, all options are available. So now that we've saw the deck, let's go back inside, let's take a look upstairs into the uh, secondary bedroom. All right, here we are in this upstairs bedroom. This space could be used literally for anything. It could be used as a, as a studio for all my musicians out there. It could be used as a loft, you know, a place to just come out and relax or anything like that, or it can be used as a bedroom. And then right over to the corner over here, every bedroom has its own bathroom, right? It has a very nice vanity, custom lighting in there as well. Also has a nice size tub, very nice colors that work together and just really fits the whole theme of this home. Let's go ahead and head back downstairs and let's check out the primary bedroom. Now, before we hit the primary bedroom, we gotta make sure we touch on this office. As you come into the office entryway, you have this nice barn sliding door. And coming inside, it's very nice and expansive. And we have the copper ceilings, it's black, and, and everything is, is darker tones in here, but it doesn't feel very closed in. It feels cozy, but not closed in. Now, another um, area of focus over here is the double-sided fireplace, right? So we saw it from the front in the great room. Now we're here in the office. Gives a, gives a lot of heat off. I can tell you that firsthand because I'm feeling it right now. All right, and then another thing that they did is they added tile here. The tile matches the metal tile that's out in the great room and it adds a very nice touch to the space as well. The ceilings here are nicer than most people's floors. Oh man, yeah, tell me about it. All right, following this hallway back, we have another closet, right? And now we're entering right into the master bedroom. So one feature here that you have is another gas fireplace, right? There's fireplaces everywhere in this home and we're gonna make sure we feature them all. And then if you just look up to the ceiling, right? You have this tray ceiling with uh, LED lighting. A lot of detail in this home that I mentioned before. Not only do you have those LED lights above to kind of set the mood or whatever you want to do in the <laughs> whatever you want to do in the primary bedroom, right? You have a uh, nice light overhead, and then you also have these two accent lights right on each side of the bed. Makes the bed the focal point. You have the nice black right here on the background, and then you have the two lights hanging down. Super nice. Okay. In the mood. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a, a moody bedroom. All right. And then, like I mentioned before, when we're out on the deck, right? You can wake up. Open up the sliders, plot right there on the couch, read a book, enjoy the view, sip your coffee from your melee coffee, coffee maker. All of those things are, all of those options are on the table. Now coming into your primary bathroom, right? Very expensive. This is like as big as my whole bedroom is at my house. Me too. Right. <laughs> but uh, 
Definitely nice color touches that their designer chose. Couple things to feature, another fireplace. Majority of them around the house, they're gas. This one's electric, still does the job. You have your freestanding soaker tub with this huge picture window, right? And you still have your mountain views. You hop out of that uh, soaker tub. If you want to take a shower, right? This has four shower heads. And another thing to, to really mention is that it has the zero entry on the floor, so you can walk straight in. And if you're clumsy like me, that's a great thing to have because you know a lot of times I step in, I trip, I fall, I break stuff. You guys don't want to do that, all right? The majority of household accidents happen in the bathroom, so. Is that a, is that a fact? It is. Yeah. I believe it. So here you have your two vanities, you know, his and hers. And you also have this area here for the ladies. They want to get here, they want to do their hair, they want to do their makeup, right? For the, for the guys too, you know, some guys put on makeup, you know. Whatever you guys prefer, definitely a space right here for it. All right, now you reach your closet. Fully custom shelving all the way throughout. And this is done by Closet Factory. And all of these things that I'm mentioning out, Urban Lights, Closet Factory, I'll make sure I put those in the uh, description. So coming through the closet, right, you have definitely have a space for, for him and her, right? This is probably the her side, a lot more shelving here. You have benches here, right, which you can get here, tie your shoes, whatever you need to do. You have a lot of natural light that comes in through these double pane windows. Then coming right through here, it's almost like a big loop. You get right here into your laundry room, okay? Now this is not quartz as um, the rest of the home has been. This is granite, definitely nice to have. You can you take off your clothes right there, put them right here in the laundry, wash them, fold them, whatever you need to do. Okay, now we've seen mostly everything here on this main level. We saw the great room, the kitchen, the office. We went upstairs, we went to the deck, the primary bedroom, and now we're walking out here. You have another bedroom right here on this main level. Also has its own bathroom as well. Um, you have another powder room this here, which will make sure you guys get some nice shots of it. And then, you know, coming right back into this main area leads right down to your basement. Now the basement is something that you don't want to miss at all. All right, let's go. Now we've reached the real fun of this house, the basement. As you come downstairs, you'll notice that the stairs have butcher blocks on the top and then they also have metal risers, right? So that's something nice that Alliance did and it's a very nice touch. Really shout out to their designer on that. One thing to note about the, the flooring here, right? You have the LVP flooring, so it's a little bit more durable. Uh, if you have kids, dogs, pets, whatever, running around down here, you know, the floors will definitely hold up. So coming right off of the steps, on the left side, you have another great room, all right? And now this area pretty much mimics what's right above. So we have your great room, you have another fireplace with stone accent tile here. You have another nice wood mantle here. And then you have the same exact view that you have from upstairs, which is very rare to have. This is a full walkout basement. You have your 15 foot sliders and it goes right out to your little patio area right underneath. So coming off of this great room area, the second great room area, you have your bar area, right? Now this table, when I first came in here, I thought it was like mounted to the ground, but this is actually a movable table, right? Something that I didn't know for the first two or three times, you know, I've been in the house. It looks like an island. Yeah, it definitely looks like an island. So they definitely did a good job with this and it matches the stairs as well. So everything flows pretty nicely, okay? So coming over to this bar area, one thing to point out is that they do have these very durable um, leather granite countertops, all right? So this is very, very nice to have, especially down here in your bar. You get it wet, easy to clean up, all right? Same here, you have your maple cabinets, soft clothes. This is like super soft clothes. It'll take like 10, 10 minutes for it to close. All right. <laughs> you, got, you got another fridge down here. And the only thing that it, I mean, if it, had a, if it had a stove, then it would pretty much be another kitchen, right? Pretty much be another kitchen. Heading over to this rec space. Here, Alliance chose to make, you know, chose to have a pool table area, shuffleboard. You'll notice that they both have the custom lighting right above. And then here with this being a walkout, you'll notice that this has, you know, a ton of natural light. You really don't even need these lights on except for at night, you know what I mean? So, you know, definitely a nice touch to have these very expansive windows, have the casement windows below, right? To get some more ventilation, those can open up if you, if you need them, all right? And then this area right here in the corner, this little tech center, you can sit there, stare at the wall, or just, just turn the chairs around and then enjoy everything that's going on in this space. 
coming right off of the rec space, you'll come right down here into one of the three bedrooms that's down here on this basement level. This is just huge. And there's 10 foot ceilings throughout this whole basement, right? Which is rare. A lot of basements, sometimes you'll see eight feet, sometimes you'll see nine feet, but boom, we have an NBA regulation height ceiling. All right, 10 foot. And this also leads to another bathroom, very nice vanity with waterfall, quartz that goes above, and then you have a shower here below. Now coming out from that bedroom, you'll see you have a nice little hideout spot for your kids, right? You can use it as your Harry Potter closet, your kid's playroom. They got lighting in there and everything. The kids will definitely love it, okay? Now coming from there, you'll walk past your wine cellar. LVP flooring follows it through, and you can fit what? At, at least 100, at least 100 bottles in there, right? Uh, 200. 200. Now following this hallway all the way back, we'll pass another outer room. And this is a, a hollow quartz right here with a very nice accented um, sink bowl, right? Sink bowl, is that what we're gonna call it? Yeah, all that's right. what we're gonna call it. Sink bowl, all right. And then they have, uh, they definitely did a nice job with texturing the paint. And then this backsplash here with the custom lighting again, one of a kind, okay? And now going back, you pass your second laundry room. You have granite countertops in here, but it's great. You know, you have three bedrooms down here. If you don't want to carry your laundry all the way upstairs. You can just come right here, drop them off, do your laundry, things like that, right? So much better. Yeah. And now, so Alliance, they actually work here. They, they work out of their model, right? So there are a couple bedrooms that we're not going to hit. There's another one on this side. You have some more storage right here. And then you reach your last bedroom here on this side. So here they're using it as an office. You still have your same 10 foot ceilings. You have your full closet and another full bathroom right here. Now, that is the home. I definitely appreciate you guys joining me on this home tour. Special shout out to Kiani and to Lindsay for allowing me to do this. I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Special shout out to Zach behind the camera. This is one home that you definitely don't want to miss. And so, since I'm new, Go ahead and give this video a like, go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe, and then I will see you on the next one.